Hello beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. Today I'm very excited to try the new Urban Decay foundation. This is the Stay Naked Weightless, Weightless Liquid Foundation up to 24 hours wear. I'm not going to try it for 24 hours but I'm going to wear it the whole day. I didn't get the concealer because the shade I wanted was out of stock and I couldn't be bothered to look and find out which other shade will suit me. So I just uh, didn't buy it. But if you are interested to see or hear what I think about the concealer, let me know down below. I can probably hunt the right shade somewhere on our website. But today I'm going to try the foundation. So if you want to see the concealer, please let me know down below. But before I go further in this video, uh, most of you are probably not going to watch the whole video, unfortunately. It's so good. But I hope you do. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and if you're interested to see what I think about this foundation and how it wears on my combo skin, then please keep on watching. Don't mind my hair, it doesn't really look pretty today, but I have two shades here, 40NN and 41NN. Now on the website, it was very difficult to find out the right shade, but I know I'm a neutral undertone, so I bought the neutral master tone and neutral undertone. So I hope one of these will suit me. The packaging is stunning. I love how it looks. It's kind of special, doesn't look like anything else out there. I like this rose gold shade up here that has my fingerprints all over it. But I do like the packaging. I think it's stunning. I I think I really love that this not this isn't glass packaging, it's plastic. And um, let's just shake and try the shade. I don't know, it's a little bit liquidy but not too much. Let's see, this is 40N. That's a little bit too light. And 41NN. A little bit too dark, so we'll mix. I prime my face with the Veal Hourglass Primer. I'm going to just use a little bit of the tart pore filling. That is what I always do. So I'm not going to do anything different right now. Yeah, well, that would be good. And this is the Nikia Joy sponge that I really love. Feels very moisturizing, very lightweight. So far, it feels like I, I don't put, don't have any foundation on. Feels like I'm just taking wet sponge and massaging my face or something. I don't know. Ooh, this looks so good on my skin. I love how this looks and the shade is perfect. Really, I'm going to use this brush on the other side. I think I need to mix more foundation. Those are very nice with the brush too. So now the foundation, the shade looks perfect. These two work beautifully together. So happy for that. Feels so lightweight. Looks like my skin, but better. Uh, it's not full, full coverage, but I really like how much it covered. I kind of like this. I like this coverage. I would be happy with, oh, uh, it's itching on my nose always when I apply foundation. And I kind of like, really like how it looks. I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape. I feel like my under eyes are all blue today. And I want full coverage. Now we have concealer on. I'm going to use the... What powder am I going to use? I have so many powders. Let 
Laura Messier translucent maybe. I love Nikia Joyce powder. I love Je Jeffrey Stars, but I love this one too. I have so many powders that I really like. So let's go in with this one today. Laura Mercier. I need to set it because I feel like it started to settle into my fine lines on my forehead. The foundation. So I want to set it before it starts moving a lot. doesn't look dry so far it looks like my skin much much better so I'm going to do the rest of my makeup it's now let me show you what time it is 11 42 and I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and I'll be back to tell you how everything else applied on top so guys I'm done with my makeup and for my eyes, I did use this uh, Ring the Alarm, I think it's called, yes, uh, Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette. I really like this, these shades and the pigmentation, blendability, everything is good about that palette. Uh, I used this Smashbox uh, bronzer and contour shade. I hit the pan in one of the shades, yay! That almost never happens because I have so much makeup. One of the Essence blushes, I love their blushes, they so easy to blend. Uh, Tarte concealer, Bare Minerals lip gloss in shade, what shade? Tantalize, ten, something like that. And um, Kaya Cosmetics, at least, I think, Vans Vava Volume Mascara and uh, Anastasia Powder for the bronze brows. And it's 12 o'clock and I've been having it for around 20 minutes so let's see my skin looks flawless okay and I'm not just saying that let's clean my mirror it looks like my skin it didn't settle into my fine lines I didn't notice that before I set the foundation that it started to set into my fine lines we'll see how it's going to go during the day but it looks so nice so flawless Though I think this is this foundation is more suitable for combo and oily skin, maybe not dry because it does look a little bit drying. Dry doesn't look dry on my skin, but I can see that it will look dry on dry skin because it dries down to kind of that matte finish. I think the coverage is perfect. It's not full full coverage, but it's kind of medium full. Um, I, I just love the foundation. I'll be trying out so many new foundations. There's so many new foundations out there. Didn't try the Anastasia. I don't know, think I will. I don't know if you're interested in that. The Pavma Graph is very expensive though. I'm kind of curious to find to try it, but it's too expensive for me right now to buy. Um, and I can't swatch the shades here in Sweden, so it will be wasting a lot of money to ordered more shades just to figure out which one will suit me suit me so I don't know. I'm not going to try that so far I'm really liking this foundation it looks so so good on my skin um, I like it I really love it let's zoom in so you can see it closer it looks so good around my nose chin forehead I don't know why my nose is always itching when I do my foundation or these kind of reviews it's like something wants to mess with me. Um, okay, so I really like this foundation so far. I'm loving it. Definitely going to wear it the whole day for at least eight, nine hours. But I want to say also, guys, that I'm going to do a um, hit and miss video with the old foundations and products that, I'm tr re that I reviewed recently on my channel because the first impressions are really important for me but also I want to tell you if I did like a product keep on using it or didn't like it or I made it work didn't make it work just like putting all the products together in a video and tell you what I think about after using them for quite a while so let me know down below if you're interested to see that subscribe if you already haven't so you don't miss that if you're interested to see that or just subscribe it will mean a lot to me and I'm going to go with my day and I see you in a couple of hours. Hi family, I'm back. It's, let me show you, 
1727. Um, I'll be having this foundation off for around almost six hours and I just want to do a check-in before I do another check-in. Check -in. So this is how it looks. I didn't touch up. I just arrived home. I was away for a couple of hours doing some errands and this is how my makeup looks. I think I don't look shiny. I think I have like that healthy glow and the makeup looks perfect. It looks flawless. But there is one thing. I'm going to take off my glasses. Uh, don't mind these. They they are all they are always there, so don't mind that. But it kind of oxidized. It did. Uh, not much, but I realized that uh, it oxidized a little bit. So when I looked at myself in the mirror when I was driving, it looked a little bit deeper than I would like it to. Maybe. Um, you could see where I stopped applying the foundation. It didn't look like that earlier. So it did oxidize a little bit, but everything else, look at my face, looks flawless. Every makeup that I put on top of the foundation looks very, very nice. Uh, the blush is there, the highlight is there, the bronzer is there. Everything looks so good. It didn't set, it didn't set into my fine lines, which I hoped it didn't. The nose looks flawless. It looks perfect. Um, everything looks good. And I did eat lunch, so I'm going to wear this for a couple of more hours and uh, I hope it won't oxidize. But, you know, I can, I mean, uh, it did oxidize a little bit, but I can just use a little bit more of this lighter shade. Um, so I can make it work. So. But I really, 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 really like this foundation. Really like, really like this foundation. I think it looks very nice on my skin. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go away for a couple of more hours. I'm going to eat some dinner. I'm very hungry. And I need to wash my hair. But before I do that, I will do a last check-in. So and my makeup looks perfect. Look good. See you soon. Okay, family, I'm back and now it's 1938 and I had the foundation on for around eight hours. So let's see how it looks. I didn't touch up at all. I'm so tired. I need to wash my hair. Um, so I'm going to do that. So I'm going to remove the makeup first. So this is how it looks. I still feel like I don't look greasy. Maybe it looks like that on camera, but in real life it looks like I have that healthy glow. I can't see my oils coming through. I mean, I can't feel them. Um, pro usually I do feel my oils coming through. I do look, look not shiny, but having that healthy glow, a little bit healthier than a um, couple of hours ago, but it looks beautiful on the skin. It looks, for eight hours, I think this looks amazing, but it oxidized a lot. I tried to apply the lighter shade here on my chest, I don't know if you can see it, and it's a perfect shade match. So I'll probably go only with the lighter shade, though it looked very light when I just applied the swatch on my face, but I think, I think maybe it will oxidize. I'll try that tomorrow, the foundation, only the lighter shade, and I will let you know in another video where I talk about all the foundation that I tried during the during this month because I tried many foundations and I'm going to tell you what I think about them. Everything looks flawless. My face doesn't look greasy, doesn't feel greasy. The makeup stay there through food and everything touching my face. The rest of the makeup is there, the highlighter, the bronzer, the everything else. It's all like my, my, my eye makeup is starting to crease but it didn't settle to my fine lines, which I'm a little bit surprised because, yeah, I thought it would. Um, though the shade oxidized, but also uh, the thing I can notice is that it's getting a little bit cakey here on the, around the nose here. It looks just a little bit cakey, uh, but that's the only thing I can see and maybe a little bit drying on this spot between my eyebrows. 
there look it looks a little bit drying and here it start caking and building up yeah kind of starting to do so but everything else still looks pretty pretty good pretty pretty good i like it i like it um i love this foundation i really love this foundation uh, i think it's good i love the packaging i love the pump i love how light the packaging feels travel friendly I think it's a very good foundation. I tried the other, other foundation. I don't know if I have it. I think I threw it away. I probably, there are so many foundations down here. So um, I didn't like the last foundation I tried from Uber Decay. It made me so cakey and dry and cracky. It looked disaster. But I'm really happy that I tried this foundation and that I have it in my collection. And it's definitely a collection. Um, but I love it. I really, really want to try the pure one too. But I still have to wait till late fall here in Sweden before it launches here. But I really love this foundation. I'm kind of curious to try the concealer though, but we'll see if I... I will wait. We'll get in that. But guys, that was everything. I hope you liked this video. Let me know down below. Did you try this foundation? Do you want to try it? What's your favorite foundation? And thank you for watching and see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.